Hello everyone, welcome to BioPandit, your one-stop comprehensive bioinformatics training platform. I'm delighted to introduce myself as Shudipto, your very own Chote Pandit. Here, I'm going to talk about water as a solvent. Solvation of hydrophiles. Solubility of hydrophilic molecules is of extreme importance to molecular biology. All the biological macromolecules should be solvated in aqueous medium. So, the molecular mechanism of solvation is worthy of understanding. We suggest you to watch our videos on quantum structure of water molecules and on the hydrogen bonding in water before you watch this. Those videos will provide you the basic concepts required to understand this one. Solubility depends on the ability of a solvent to interact with a solute more strongly than a solid particles interact with each other. The polar character of water makes it an excellent solvent for polar and ionic materials, which are therefore said to be hydrophilic. On the other hand, the non-polar substances are virtually insoluble in water and are consequently described as being hydrophobic. So, while hydrophiles dissolve in water, while hydrophobes do not, let us take an example of glucose crystals. When you add some sugar in water, it dissolves. Glucose crystals is sustained by high electrostatic forces among individual glucose molecules. The electrostatic force between any two charged particles Q1 and Q2 separated by a distance R is given by the Coulomb's law. This D here is the dielectric constant of the medium. Thus, as the dielectric constant of the medium increases, the force between the embedded charge decreases. You know very well that if the charges are opposite, electrostatic potential is attractive. In such cases, you can say the dielectric constant of a solvent is a measure of its ability to keep the opposite charges apart. When you add glucose crystals in water, because of the very high dielectric constant of water, the electrostatic forces that hold the molecules together become 78.5 divided by 1.5, that is 52 times weaker. Individual sugar molecules leave the crystals and make the hydrogen bond with water. You can see how the glucose molecule has 5 hydrogen bond donor and one acceptor site. This transition from crystal state to the solvated state is the molecular basis of hydration or solvation of the hydrophilic molecules. See guys, it's simple. So, this is all for now guys. For further information, please keep watching the other videos of Biopundit. Please feel free to contact us in biopundit at gmail.com and in our Facebook page with suggestions, requests for videos and asking for technical help. And you can help us by subscribing our videos and your Facebook page so that we can continue our journey. Bye guys, see you soon.